So here's how to buy hosting or web hosting, and I'm gonna walk you through each and single step. First one's gonna to be to click the link in the description to the pinned comment, and if you do, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this, where you can get up to 75% off web hosting. So using what I have in the description will allow you to get an even bigger discount, and I'm gonna show you how that works. Once you arrive on this page, what you wanna do is click on the claim deal button right here, and it's gonna slide down to finding the perfect plan for you. So. Very quickly, I'm gonna go over some of the biggest differences between the plans that they have, just to help you pinpoint exactly which one you wanna get. First and foremost is gonna be premium, everything you need to create your website. So this is ideally perfect if you are a newbie, you've never created a website before, maybe you're creating your first or your second website, and you just don't think you'll need a whole lot of traffic to your website overall. With this, some of the biggest perks are 25 websites, you get 25,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs of storage, and also with this, you do get weekly backups. Okay, so those are some of the biggest perks. There will be a few others that are different here and there, but that's kind of like a big outline of what you get in terms of the biggest features. Next is gonna be business, which is most popular. You can level up with more power and enhanced features. Now before, even if you are a beginner, you still might wanna use this for a few reasons as it's only $1 more per month when you consider for a 48 month term. Also with this, you go from 25 to 50 websites, you get 25,000 to 100,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs to 50, and this is going to be one of the biggest perks that I talk about in this specific, let me find it right here, and it's gonna be the daily on-demand backup. So you can protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. They're stored for seven days and weekly backups are stored for seven Seven weeks. So if you think like you're prone to breaking your WordPress website, this is something I have done in the past. I'm very clumsy and I'm glad I had something like this. So let's just say you put a ton of content on your website. You make changes, make updates, update your logo, blog posts, SEO, whatever it's going to be, and you mess up. If you don't have something like this, you might have to go back to your weekly backup and you can potentially lose out on a lot of content that you created on your website. So so if you feel like you're prone to breaking your website, this is something that's very nice to have as you can get a backup from the daily aspect compared to being a weekly backup, okay? So that's a big upgrade there in my opinion. Then there's gonna be the cloud startup where you get to enjoy optimized performance and powerful resources. So majority of people that are getting websites are usually one of these, like, do you feel like you need 100, up to 100 websites? Do you feel like you need 200,000 visits monthly? You know, 100 gigs of storage and so on and so forth. If you feel like that's just way too much for you, you're probably gonna know right off the bat whether you do or don't need that. So ideally, you're probably gonna be one of these here and business overall is great. I do love the fact that it comes with daily backup. So make sure you choose your plan that's gonna be most appropriate for you. In this case, I'm simply gonna choose the business plan right here and clicking on the button, you can follow along with me. All right, and here's where it gets even better, where you get to save even more. So upon going through my link, I do update it to make sure that you get the best discount possible. Now what you can do is click on have a coupon code. If you also look down below in the description of the pinned comment, there will also be a coupon code there. Simply type it in, copy or paste it, and click on apply. And just like that, you will get an even bigger discount. My way of saying thank you for watching this video. I don't wanna mention what the coupon code is specifically because very similar to my link, I will go in and update it just to make sure that you're always getting a discount code that works, okay? So it will be down there. Simply add it in, click on apply, and you'll see that you save even more money in the process. So now let's talk about payment periods. There's gonna be a few that you can choose from. I never recommend going monthly, which I'll talk about very soon why. Now, 48 months is gonna be your best bet. With this, you get your free domain, and with this exclusively, you get three months free included in this order. Aside from that, it's gonna average out to around $3.99 per month, and it's gonna renew at $13.99 per month for a year after this payment period is over, which isn't too bad. I have seen other web hosting services that charge more for this, even when you're just getting up and running. Then there's gonna be 24. You can see how it moves up a little to 449 a month. That's what it averages out to. This, you just get your free domain. You don't get those extra three free months. Then we move to 12 months here, where as you can see, it's moving up in terms of the average. You do get your free domain. And this is gonna be the one month, which I never recommend. Right off the bat, it's $13.99 a month. You get your $5 setup fee and you don't even get a free domain. It's not worth it whatsoever. As you can see, the price just doesn't make any sense here. So ideally, if you're gonna be creating a website, you're probably gonna to wanna to do it for the long term. So like 12, 24, or 48 are gonna be your best bets here. Really, whatever works best for you, 
This you might pay a little bit more upfront, but you're saving and getting the most value in the process. And don't forget about adding in that coupon code. You'll save even more depending on you know what plan you're gonna be going with. So add in that coupon code, make sure you click on apply, and then simply click on the continue button. All right, and so this is the second to last step. This is where you can register for your account. You can do it with Gmail if you want, or just do like what I did. You can use your email address and password and click on register. Make sure you use one that you check normally because that's where they're gonna send you all your login information, you know, getting your domain and so on and so forth. I already have an account, so I'm not gonna actually register it. But what you wanna do is create yours, click on register, and the last page is gonna be where you can obviously make your payment. Now, there might be one thing you might be curious about, and it's your free domain. With Hostinger, you get your free domain after you make the purchase, so you can do that on the inside of your dashboard. In case you were curious about that, I just wanted to let you know. Nevertheless, that is gonna conclude this tutorial about how you can buy hosting or web hosting. I hope that this very quick tutorial helped you out. Not only that, but the ability to save you money. So if you do wanna do that, be sure to click the link down below in the description and the pinned comment, and make sure you use my coupon code to help you save even more money in the process. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoy Hostinger.